Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ninja here, bringing to you another video. This is my trip whenever I ended up going to California. And uh, ended up going over to Esports Arena. They ended up uh, doing a VIP um, invite only after party for BlizzCon 2016, which was fan fantastic. It was such a blast going over there. I, it's been a while since I've been to California, and I've never been to that part of California, which was pretty awesome. It was in Santa Ana, California. And um, it was pretty cool because I actually ended up going over to Huntington Beach and Newport Beach Pier uh, before actually the event ended up kicking off, which you guys will see some video footage uh, of that, of me doing that anyway. And then whenever I ended up actually getting to Esports Arena, the uh, staff over there is fantastic. Uh, major shout out to those guys and everything that they end up doing over there. I'm definitely going to have to uh, go to more events that they end up putting on there. The space is ginormous. Uh, this is the only wording that I can uh, think of in comparison um, in my head to actually try to remotely comprehend and explain um, the actual facility. It's just it's spacious. It's huge. Um, they have so much going for it. Um, and talking to the staff and everything, I found a lot, out, a lot more information about the actual company itself. Um, that I originally did not even know about. Um, not only do they do lands and events and everything there, um, they also host events. Um, what I mean by this is say that a company, uh, for example, uh, the Halo event they actually did back in, I think it was uh, October uh, 6th through 8th. Um, say a company like Halo and, and wants to do a grand finals or, uh, or a finals uh, tournament, they'll contact uh, Esports Arena and say, hey, I want to put on an event, I need help with uh, streaming, I want um, advertising, I need catering, I need uh, the works, production, value, everything. I need stuff set up, I need the equipment, everything. Esports Arena will go out of their ways, actually comp, uh, comp and, and get all this worked out because they have the ability and the knowledge and the individuals to actually get that accomplished. Uh, I actually ended up going on a sneak, quote unquote sneak, I'm doing air quotes you can't see, uh, sneak uh, VIP uh, slash um, down low information on them showing me around the facility on the third floor, which you do not have access to unless you're a staff member. I won't go into too much details about the upcoming stuff that they have going on up there because I don't want uh, them to get upset with me for me leaking that information, but what I will say is that they're production um crew actually and their staff uh staff cubicles and stuff is actually up on the third floor as well as some other stuff which are hush hush i can't talk about but all their production and everything that they end up doing for their streams um for any of their uh production stuff is all done on that third floor and i think it's fantastic that actually a company can go out of their way um to actually make sure that everything is done with in-house which is fantastic that you know you don't have to worry about the lag issue you don't have to worry about the uh um time constraints and everything on trying to get something done for for a facility that has everything literally wrapped into one now i had an absolute blast at this event um as you can kind of tell by my my um much of my energy that I end up having right now, which I will confess that uh, I did not have this energy the last uh, day or so. Uh, I was up for about 24 or 25 hours straight without getting any sleep. Uh, passed out at the uh, airport for a couple hours before my flight, and then I passed out on my flight, um, which I never do. Uh, and then whenever I ended up getting home, I slept for goodness gracious. Uh, nine hours or so then I ended up having to go to work after I got home from work I crashed again for like another 12 um, I'm caught up on sleep now so I definitely have all my energy and everything back now which is fantastic so then I can bring this video to you guys um, again I want to give a major shout outs major major shout outs to those guys over at esports arena for uh, putting on the event uh, inviting me and our organization over at uh, reborn Knights, and I would uh Definitely recommend if you guys have an event that you want going on or a fundraiser or anything really, they can comp you and help you out with absolutely everything. Make sure you end up contacting them at, and I'll put the uh, link in the description as well as uh, on the screen right now. Contact at esportsarena.com is your best way to end up getting in hold of anybody. And I was 
told by the staff there that is the best way to get hold of them and then what will happen is that they, they actually have a physical person not automatic response or anything like that or an automated system you actually have an actual person going through these emails that will get you over to the designated uh, individual staff member that will help you out with your uh, specific uh, questions uh, comments concerns or inquiries about business opportunities so Back into what uh, what they have over here going at Esports Arena. Um, so I ended up going over through the facility. So on the first floor, uh, mind you, the video footage that you're going to be seeing, um, the layout was completely different because it was an after party. They had to move a lot of stuff out of the way um, for obvious reasons so that they could have tons of people walking through and everything uh, to enjoy themselves without bumping into a, dam a, a damn table. So... On the main floor that you end up walking in, you'll have the uh, pictures and stuff on the side there that talk about uh, what exactly um, they offer there because they do offer uh, daily pricing and monthly pricing, which actually is really reasonable for what they're uh, asking for. And then they also have designated days during the week that they were telling me that they do actual like competitions. Um, special guest appearances, DJs, and then they also have like lands. Um, normally they do the lands on the weekends, just like everybody else. They uh, try to get everything set up and uh, done and dusted by Friday, so then they can have it, or Thursday, so they can have it done by Friday or Saturday, depending on when the event will actually be. Um, so you walk in, you have, uh, as I said, you have a counter there, you have the uh, pricing is stuff over on your right hand side and then you end up walking into this ginormous open area um, you have PC games you have PlayStation uh, you have Xbox you have uh, not necessarily the oculus but you do have a uh, VR um, head headgear that you can end up playing you have the Wii they uh, even showed me that they have a relaxing um, streaming area to where if you just want to just chill um, buy this like mini fridge and everything that you drink eat and just chill and just watch streams whether it be from MLG your favorite YouTuber whatever it may be you can actually do that and it's pretty awesome that uh that you can just sit there and just chill and watch these and and then have all these couching space they have all these PCs and then you walk up to uh over to the uh Left hand side, far left hand side, they actually have all these card tables built up that you can actually play uh, poker. Or you can do um, any of the kind of like card game and stuff uh, over on your left hand side, whether it be like uh, Magic or Pokemon or whatever it may be. You can do this, um, which a lot of facilities don't even offer that anymore. It's a kind of a dying breed of uh, gaming that a lot of people. I mean, th there is still that large group of people that do it, but facilities don't offer that and it's remarkable that they do here um so then you go up to the second floor second floor uh up the stairs as i was saying before they do offer like uh, xbox and playstation and they have that up there they also have a um a uh, mini setup there for your their casters and everything which you'll see pictures of or a video of as well um that they have like lights set up and that's where they do like the casting and everything continue over around on the second floor and then you have more setups for PC console and all that as well as like a little chilling lounge there again on the second floor as they have a set up on the first so over on you go back down the stairs again and you head straight off uh, towards like the main stage there they have the main stage set up to where whenever they have a competition or anything going on, they have the big screen, which they said they just ended up getting in. Uh, I think they said it was like an 82-inch uh, big screen. Crisp, clean, really, really clear-looking um, screen, which was awesome. And they also have micro mini screens there and stuff, so then they can uh, film and show like the team whenever they're playing. And uh, during the this actual after party event, they also had the Wii set up right by the, the stage as well. If you guys are interested in putting on any events, birthday party, whatever it may be, um, charity event or anything like that, make sure you end, end up do contact those guys. Again, I will put annotation on the screen again. Contact at esportsarena.com and I'll also put it in the link below and uh, reach out to those guys. You'd, I'm not sponsored. I am not... Um, partnered with these guys in any way shape or form i just think that it's fantastic that these these group of individuals the ceo ceo 
uh, or CCEO and uh, GM and all these staff members ended up putting on this event and showed me just a wonderful time and honestly opened up my heart and uh, showed me what the future of esports will look like. Thanks guys for watching the video. Love your faces and I'm sorry for rambling on this entire time. And I will see you guys next time.